Hey everyone, this is Stefan James from Project Life Mastery. Today I want to show you how to get traffic to your product, your service, your website, your funnel, or anything that you want to sell or market online. You know, one big mistake that a lot of business owners make is they believe that if I build it, then they will come. And so they put a lot of their time, their focus, their energy, their attention, their money, their resources into creating a great product and service, not recognizing that that's only half the battle and that the other half is getting traffic and marketing your product and your service. If you don't get any attention, if you don't get any eyeballs on your product and get it in front of people, you're not going to make any money. So uh, marketing and traffic and what I'm going to share with you today is just as important, if not more important than the actual product itself. And this is a big pain point, a big sticking point for a lot of business owners. So listen, I don't know where you are right now in your business journey. I'm not sure if you're just getting started. Maybe you don't even have a business yet. Either way, I want you to understand what I'm going to share with you is going to be applicable to any, any business, any product or service, whether that's selling something on Amazon, a book, a physical product, drop shipping, affiliate marketing, I don't care, any service, life coaching, a YouTube channel, anything that you want to sell online, I want to walk you through the steps and share with you how to get traffic. Okay, so pay attention. First thing I want to share with you, there's three different types of traffic. Not all traffic is equal. Just because you're getting attention, eyeballs on your YouTube channel, on your website, to people opting into your email list or going to your Amazon listing, no matter what it is, each one of those people that come to your website, each visitor is a human being and they're going to be in a different state of mind. And it's important to recognize that because depending where that person's at, okay, the quality of that visitor, of that human being, it's going to convert very differently when they get in front of your product or your service. So there's three different types you got to know. First, there's cold traffic, warm traffic, and then there's hot traffic. Okay, cold, warm, and hot. What is cold? Cold is someone that doesn't know who you are. They've never heard of you. They've ne never heard of your brand, your company, your product, your service. They've never seen your face before. They've never heard of any of that. And if you get in front of people that are cold, then that's going to be very difficult for you to convert. It's going to be a lot harder. It's going to be more of an uphill battle in order for you to convince that person why they need to buy your product or do business with you. That's going to be a lot more challenging. Okay, so that's cold traffic. Then there's warm traffic. Warm traffic are people that already kind of know who you are. You know, maybe they've seen you before online, they've heard of your company, your brand, your product. Maybe they're proactively actually looking for your, your business and your product, your service. Okay, so they're a little bit more proactive and more warmed up to you. And when you get in front of those people, it's going to be a lot easier for you to convert them into a customer. And then there's hot traffic. Hot traffic are people that they're ready to buy. They love you. They're a raving fan. They follow you online. They already know about your company, your business. Maybe they've already done business with you before. Maybe they have an urgent need. You know, the cold people, they don't even know that they need your product or service. Someone that's hot is like, I'm looking for this. I need this now. I'm ready to buy now. They have a sense of urgency. And as you can imagine, that's going to be the easiest source of traffic to convert to buy your product or service. Okay, so it's really important to recognize that not all traffic is the same. And ideally, you want to warm people up and get them, get them to this point when things are hot because when you do that, it makes your job so much easier. You don't even have to really market that much. There's some products that just kind of sell, them, you know, sell itself or some brands and companies that don't need to spend as much money, they don't need to do as much as others because they don't need to do as much to warm them up to convert them into buyers of your product. Okay. Now, there's two different types of marketing, very important. Interruption marketing and search marketing. Interruption marketing is when you're interrupting people online. How, do you, how does that happen? Well, if you watch this video right now, maybe you're you know, a follower of my content or you're searching on you know, YouTube how to, how to get traffic. And then most likely before you watch this video on YouTube, there was an advertisement that showed up that interrupted you. And on that advertisement was probably a business or a person that was sharing with you their product, their company, um, trying to interrupt you to get your attention, to kind of persuade you to not watch my video, to get instead go down their funnel to maybe eventually check out their product, their service, or their website. That's interruption marketing. It's when people are on Facebook. When you're on Facebook, you're interacting with your friends, you're connecting with your family, you know, you're reading through your feed and whatnot, your timeline, and then advertisements pop up of people that are trying to interrupt you to get your attention 
so that they can funnel you into their product, their service, their website. Okay? So that's interruption marketing. It happens on Instagram, it happens on Facebook, it happens on YouTube, it happens everywhere where people are trying to get your attention because attention is the most important thing you can ever have online in your business. Because if you don't have people's attention, you can't sell, you can't market, you can't convince someone to buy anything from you if you don't have their attention. So all these companies, including maybe yourself, you're gonna spend money or time or whatever you gotta do to get people's attention. But attention's not enough. You also have to have trust. So the most important thing is attention, the second most important thing is trust. People do business with who they like, know, and they trust. And so that's when you have warm and hot traffic because now they like, know, and trust you. They're more likely to buy from you because of that. So once you get someone's attention, you've got to, and you interrupt them, right? You've got to be able to establish some trust, some relationship there with them. So how do you do that when it comes to interruption marketing? Okay, so you're driving people here to your product, and the key to doing this, okay, is something called a three-step process. And by the way, I want to mention here and give some credit to someone Russell Brunson, he wrote this book called Traffic Secrets. Highly recommend this book. I'm, I've been doing internet marketing for over 10 years and I, I'm still a student. I learn as much as I can and I'm getting great nuggets here. So if I've been doing this for a long time and I'm getting value from it, then I want to recommend this to you and I'll link the book below for you because he's giving it away for free right now too. So, um, so three things. Hook, story, offer. Okay, hook, story, offer. So you've got to hook people. You've got to say something or write something in your advertisement, in your marketing, whatever it is, to try to hook you. That's why before you watch this YouTube video, whether or not you actually you know, clicked on that ad or checked it out or waited beyond five seconds to see what the person had to say, if they successfully did that, then they hooked you. And the key to hooking someone is to really enter into their world and know what they're thinking, their feeling, where they're at, what their goal, what their desire is, and to, to, to offer, to, to say something that just grab their attention more. Maybe it's saying, hey, are you struggling with this right now in your life? And you're like, hey, you know what, I am. And so it hooks you, it gets your attention for a second or two longer. And when they've got your attention like that, then they can share with you a story. And the story connects with you, the story builds and establishes some trust or some authority in some way. And you connect and you relate to that story because they say, hey, are you struggling with this right now in your life? And you're like, yes, I am. And they say, well, I used to struggle with this too, but guess what? I don't struggle with it anymore. This is where I was. I went through this journey. This is where I am today. I'm on the other side of it. And by the way, now they make an offer, I can now share with you and help you to solve this problem. And here's something I want to send you for free, or here's my product, here's my service, here's my website, right? They're offering the solution. That's really the key, by the way, to successful advertising, successful Facebook ads. Okay, let's go through a few options here. So you could pay Facebook, get traffic through them, and with Facebook, it gives you the ability to target people based on their interests, their age, their demographic, their country, their gender. I mean, they, Facebook has over, I think, 52,000 points uh, 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 of interest of, a, of people on their platform. So that allows you as an advertiser to target laser focused on who your ideal customer is, and then make a hook, story offer, and then funnel them into that. Okay, so Facebook ads is a way that you could interrupt people. Could also be YouTube ads. Could be Instagram. Could be even Google. Could, it really could be anywhere. I mean, even on Amazon, if you have a product on Amazon, Amazon has their advertising platform and you can interrupt people. By the way, even right now, this video, maybe for example, you're just kind of browsing through YouTube and this video popped up on your feed you know, or someone else's video, and you weren't really looking for it, but it interrupted you and it got your attention. You're like, hey, I need to figure out how to get traffic. That's a problem, a challenge that I might be having right now in my life, in my business, and you clicked on it. So I, depending on how many views this video gets, or if you're watching this, I successfully interrupted you in some way, and not unless you're actually proactively looking for it. Okay, that's interruption. Now, let's go to search marketing. Search marketing is someone that is actually proactively looking for you. They're looking for your product, your service, your website, your company, your brand. They're looking for answers. They're looking for solutions, okay? And by the way, people that are doing that, they're more warm and hot by nature because they've raised their hand. They've raised their hand and they're looking. So they're gonna convert a lot better than those that don't even know that they need your product and service. 
That's more cold because then you have to interrupt people. And by the way, it could be, you can still do Facebook ads and all that to warm and hot audience, okay? But that's called retargeting. Retargeting is when people already know about your product or service. Maybe they came to your website. You can retarget them and have advertisements on Facebook or YouTube or Instagram or Google. Follow them around. I'm sure you've, you've been you know, a victim of retargeting before because once you go to their website, they put a pixel on your computer and now they can have advertisements follow you on the internet and kind of bring you back to the product, the website, and the service. So don't just think that these strategies are just for you know, cold, but you can also interrupt people and um, you know, retarget people in those ways too. Okay, so search marketing, people are looking for you, okay? Now, where do people go to find products, services, solutions? They go to a search engine. Well, what are some of the options out there? Well, we got Google, the biggest search engine. YouTube, also owned by Google. You know, we've got all the different other search engines out there, but even I want you to even think about places like Facebook, Amazon. I mean, anywhere there's a search bar, anywhere that there's a bar that someone can go to and they can actually type in a keyword. Okay, they can type in a phrase. They can type in their question. They can type in how to blank or whatever product or whatever industry, whatever it might be, okay? And that's the other way that you can get in front of people is learning how to leverage those platforms as well, okay? So I want you to think about marketing and getting traffic in those two different types of ways. And they're both incredibly effective. They're both incredibly effective, but how do you determine where to start? How do you actually determine what to do? You know, how to get started? There's so many options and opportunities and ways that I can reach people. And often for a lot of beginners, it's very overwhelming and it's very challenging to get started with it. So here's how you get started. And this is something I learned from Russell in his book, Traffic Secrets. He has a process that I highly recommend you do. It's called your dream 100. Okay, your dream 100. And what this process is, is you gotta take a step back from this and you gotta get clear on who your ideal customer is. Who is your dream customer? Who are the people that would buy your product or service? Who are the people that would follow your YouTube channel or your blog or your Instagram account or your Facebook profile? Who are the people that are looking for you and would be incredible subscribers, customers of your product or service? Okay, you gotta take a step back and really determine that first. And so part of his process is he helps you create what is called a customer avatar. Okay, an avatar is like you give that person a name, an age, a gender, you know, what are their interests? And it's kind of just like, it, it's really just a kind of a, a model, I guess, an avatar of who that ideal customer is. Not that you're not, you know, obviously gonna attract people that are a little bit different and whatnot, but that's the core person that you're trying to reach and market to. Once you understand that, then the strategy and the how-to becomes that much easier. So part of this process, what he recommends you do, and I did this because I'm reading his book, he says, okay, you gotta first, under, you first gotta ask yourself these questions. What websites does this person go to? Okay, your ideal customer, what websites do they already go to? And that's pretty tough to actually figure it out, isn't it? But and I started thinking about it and I made a list. What YouTube accounts do they watch? What channels on YouTube do they watch consistently? Okay, interesting. What blogs do they visit? What podcasts would they listen to? What influencers on Facebook or Instagram would they follow? Okay. What keywords would they actually search for and type in in Google? And you make a list of that and you brainstorm, okay, they would search for this or they would search for that. And oftentimes in your business, what makes it a little bit easier is, I, I know for me, it was a little bit easier because I am or was my ideal customer. You know, because everything that I do online, I'm trying to help people and share with people things that benefited me. And so I can take a step back and remember, you know, I remember for me, for example, the websites I went to when I was trying to figure out how to make money online and build a business. I remember what people that I followed and what keywords I searched for in Google. I typed in Google and YouTube, how to make money online, how to make passive income, how to sell on Amazon, right? I'd search for these things and that allowed me to determine, hey, you know what? Okay, I was once a customer, so what were the things that I would search for? But when you get clear on that, my friends, when you get very crystal clear and going in depth and you don't stay at the surface as many marketers do, you go deep and you spend some time doing this, now you're very clear on who you're trying to reach and who you're trying to communicate with. And then the strategy becomes that much easier. And then the next step is what you do 
is you then spend time following your competition, these other blogs and podcasts, and you get on the email list that they have, and you're gonna learn so much from them, your competition, more than you ever will from me or anyone else because they're in your industry. They've paved the way for you. They're already successful. They're already selling the product, the service. They have their website, and things are more transparent today than ever before. You can go to their blog and say, hey, do they have a blog? If you look at your top competitors, are they blogging? Maybe you notice of your top 10 competitors, five of them have a blog. Okay, what kind of traffic, what kind of articles are they publishing? What kind of content are they putting out there? How much engagement is it getting on their blog? Okay, if they're doing it consistently, it must be working for them. So that might be a strategy for you on how you can market your product. Okay, oh hey, I noticed that my competition, they have a YouTube channel. My ideal customer, they watch YouTube videos. Okay, if that's the case, then you gotta maybe create a YouTube channel and you can learn from them and get ideas and see what they're doing successfully. Okay, or hey, you know what? They're really good at Amazon. They're running Amazon ads, my competition, and that's what they're doing successfully. Okay, I gotta really dive deep on Amazon ads and master that. Or hey, you know what? I noticed they're running Facebook ads, you know, and this is their, their funnel and their process. And if they're spending money to run ads week after week, month after month on Facebook, they're doing it because they're making money. So it's obviously profitable for them. If it wasn't, they would stop doing it. And so that gives you an indicator that you should also maybe do Facebook ads. So you learn more from modeling your competition. Sam Walton, one of the greatest entrepreneurs in history, he founded Walmart. He wrote a book called Made in America, a great book. He said, I spend more time in my, my competition stores than my own. Because I wanna know, what did my competition know? What are they doing that I don't know? And I can learn from them if I humble myself and understand they're doing things that are working for them that I can model and I can apply to my business. So that's how you identify how to get started. You model success that's already paved the way. You don't guess, you don't ask someone like me, because then I, I, I mean, if you ask me, I would just do this. I'd say, okay, let's sit down, find your competition, who's your dream customer, where are they already going, and then how can we get in front of them through Google or YouTube or Facebook or Amazon or any of these platforms that are available for us. And then the next step, you pick one and you go deep, you master it, you learn as much as you can, you focus on it. You don't try to do everything at once, because then you're gonna get overwhelmed and you're not gonna complete things. So you get really great at one or two things and you go deep. Maybe, maybe you get this book and you learn about YouTube marketing and Instagram and Facebook and all the different strategies, but you pick one and maybe you find a course or a mentor or something that you can just, through trial and error, get better and better at over time. That's the secret to getting traffic and marketing and when you really get good at that, you could just up the ante because if you're creating content like I do, you know, content I love and I've got a great process and formula and I've mastered this process of YouTube marketing. So for me, if I want to get more traffic, I just up the ante. I put more gasoline on the fire, publish more videos. The more videos I put out, the more traffic that I get, the more sales that I can make. And one thing that I love about creating content on YouTube or a blog or social media is that really through the nature of it, you're getting leads and traffic that are getting warmer and hot. First, they might not know who you are, but maybe you don't know who I am, but you're watching this video right now, and if you're benefiting from it, if you're still here, you're probably like, oh, thank you so much, this makes sense, this is benefiting me. And what's happening through that process is you're getting more familiar with me, you're getting more comfortable with me, you're building a relationship with me at, you know, the longer that you stay here and watch this video or listen to me. And now, when that happens, I don't really need to focus that much on marketing. I don't really need to try to sell you something. I could say, hey, I can make an offer. I could say, hey, here's a, a, a solution to something you might be struggling with. Here's a great product I can recommend to you. Here's a course that I put together that can maybe support you. Here's a great book that can help you. And you're gonna be more likely to say, yeah, you know what, this guy was great. I benefited from it. I wanna check this out and I don't have to ram it down your throat. I don't have to try to pitch you and hard close you on that or anything. You're gonna be naturally more inclined to check it out because you know, I'm providing value to you. So content marketing is known as VAM, value added marketing. VAM, value added marketing. And when you're adding value to people in that way, consistently, consistently you build relationship, goodwill, the marketing takes care, care of itself. I'm not that great, to be honest with you, at knowing you know, exactly how to convert someone perfectly. Uh, I don't have a script like a lot of marketers do where they kind of you know, map out word for word of a script that gets you know, the best conversions possible. That's not me. I'm, I'm not the person that analyzes things to that level. 
Instead, what I've found is that if I just serve people and care about them and add value to them, it's not just all about me and trying to make money and trying to sell myself or my product, but I just try to give, 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 then once in a while people reciprocate and they're going to want to check out the product and service and they don't have to have the perfect copywriting or marketing or conversion rates or anything like that. It's going to convert because it's warm and hot right, and not cold. Does that make sense? Okay, so content marketing is great. That's what I love. But maybe you're like, you know, I'm not really great at content. I don't want to do it. You can focus on advertisements, Facebook ads, Google ads, Instagram ads, or you could find an influencer, reach out to other influencers online that already have your audience. Like once you know your dream 100, who are the blogs, the Instagram, you know, influencers, Facebook influencers, the YouTube channels, you can then reach out to them and say, hey, could you promote my product? I'll give you a commission, a referral fee. Uh, I'll pay you up front to do a video or content to promote it and to offer it then it becomes a lot easier because they already have the warm and the hot audience and they're already in front of that and you can just pay them money and get in front of their audience and that's going to convert a lot easier for you as well. Okay, so hopefully this makes sense for you. It gives you a lot of clarity on how to get started getting traffic and how to really ramp up your business. Now, I do want to recommend this book to you guys. I want to make sure that you get it because if you're here and watching this, Take the next step and get this book. This is a, a book that Russell right now, he's one of my marketing mentors, someone I've learned so much from, but um, I wanna support him with this book. You know, he's someone that's become a friend of mine, spent time with him in Fiji. He built a great company called ClickFunnels, and um, he's given away this book for free. You just gotta pay for the shipping and handling, and uh, he's also got some great bonuses to support you with as well. So to check out the book Traffic Secrets, go to www projectlifemastery.com slash traffic secrets. I'll put a link below for you, but this book goes more into what I've shared with you, but it also goes into specifics on getting traffic from Google, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, ad advertisements, everything. Um, all the top latest strategies that are working right now today. He shares that with you and you'll understand it more and that will help you strategize and then pick and go in that direction. So get the book. Otherwise, I want to thank you guys so much for being here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe here at Project Life Mastery for more videos as well on business, marketing, self-development. And uh, thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. God bless you. And take care.